Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a simple fall makeup look because we're getting into the fall now. So you guys know the routine. It's time for the fall looks. I did do this video in collaboration with Sephora Collection. You guys know I love the products. I love the brand. I really love the variety of colors that they have and I love the high quality of the products despite them being so affordable. You guys know that when it comes to winged liner, I actually don't even bother trying to do it. Or if I do do it, I just stick to black. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and apply um, a winged liner and a green winged liner. So yeah, <laughs> I thought this green winged liner would go great for fall. And also I paired it with these mauve pinkish lips and I think that the look looks really nice for fall and I also wanted to do it really simple for you guys. I hope you guys like it. If you want to see how I did it then keep watching. Alrighty so you guys know that I like to apply my foundation first so that's what I'm doing and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in number 8. So next for concealer I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Also, you guys know I'm obsessed with this concealer. I use this in every tutorial. I know I need to try something new, but I just love it. And it's so cute. My son was like, Mommy, you look like a tiger. So I decided to do that a little raw. He just cracked up. So after I apply the powder, I'm going to bake for about 30 seconds to a minute and then sweep it away with my favorite brush. Next for the eyes, I'll be using Sephora Collection Colorful Wink It Felt Tip Liner in Army Babe. This is a dark green army color and um, yeah, I know that it looks black, but it's definitely green. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use this as my wing and as you can see, I didn't really struggle that much. I'm very surprised <laughs> and I really think that this worked out because the felt tip is not bulky or anything. It's very like sharp on the end and it's like a little bit flexible and also like how the ink, like the eyeliner ink didn't struggle to come out. Next, I'm using Sephora Collection Contour Eye Pencil and Go For A Ride. And this is also like a dark green, definitely fall appropriate. And it also has like sparkles in it. So I thought it went really pretty on the bottom lash line. So now for mascara, I'm using Sephora Collection Outrageous Curl Dramatic Volume and Curve Mascara. This is really great if you're not wearing lashes. And I'm going to use lashes for this look. But if you don't wear lashes, then this will make your lashes nice and long and dramatic. <laughs> and for false lashes, I'm using Sephora Collection Luxe Plush Lashes. I love these because they're so full, but they're also lightweight. So next, I'm actually going to moisturize my lips using Sephora Collection Rouge Balm and Enchanting Blush. I like this as like a moisturizer and even like if I'm not going to wear lipstick, I like that it has like that hint of color to it. So now I'm applying Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in number 13 and I thought this color just went perfect for these green eyes. So the only eyeshadow I'm using for this look is Sephora Collection Colorful Eyeshadow and What Happens in Vegas. And I'm just putting that in the inner tear duct area to add a little sparkle and shine. So to finish off the look, I will be contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. This is one of my favorite ways to contour. And also I'll be using Urban Decay's um, highlighter. And I forgot the name of this one, but I'll leave that in the description box. And as you can see, it's just like so beautiful. And after that, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the products that I used. And also check out Sephora Collections Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one.